David, I didn't know you have an interview on Tuesday. That's great. Are you ready? I'm not sure. This will be my third in nine months. I'm wondering if I'm up for it. Oh, don't say that. With your talent and skills, of course you are. But I'm really afraid I'll find myself sitting across the desk from someone half my age. He'll take one look at me and think I'm too old. We'll help him see past that. One of the most important things you can do is show confidence in what you bring to the table. Now how can I show confidence? The first rejection I could deal with. The second one was tough, though. I'm not sure I'm ready to be back in the hot seat. It means being turned down again. We'll build your confidence by being prepared. Imagine questions that might be asked. Practice your answers that will make the case for why you're the best person for that job. What if I say the wrong thing? I don't want to ramble or, even worse, come across as wrong for the job. Well, just remember, keep it simple. Respond directly and keep your answers on point. Highlight just your experiences and skills that fit that job. Sounds good. But do you think I should talk about how many years experience I have? No, don't focus on the years. Focus on the skills you've learned. Talk about your accomplishments and what makes you perfect for the organization. If you can put a number on your accomplishments, it's even better. Like number of dollars or amount of time saved, number of people affected. See what I mean? Yeah, I can do that. But I'm still worried about sounding too old school. The job jargon has changed these last few years. I'd better go online and make sure I'm up on the lingo. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, and while you're online, go over the company's website and find their latest news. That way, you'll show you're up to date about what they're doing. In fact, if you know the interviewer's name, I'll bet you can look him up too. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Knowing something about him and the company will help me feel more comfortable with making conversation. I'm going to do a little more homework tonight and be prepared. Exactly. And remember, it's not just him interviewing you. You need to ask questions too. This will send him the message that you're genuinely interested in the job. The more you show him what you can offer each other, the more intrigued he'll be. Yeah. But you know what really worries me? Hmm. I'm just plain old scared by questions he might ask about my age. What if he flat out says, aren't you overqualified? I'd freeze right up. Yeah, but there's a good way to deal with that. Decide right now how you'll answer those kinds of questions. Then you won't freeze when they come up. Like one response could be, no, I'm not overqualified. I'm uniquely qualified. My experience is a perfect match for this job. Or you could say, no, there is always something to learn. Yeah, I like that. Know what I'm going to say before I say it. What if he notices that I've been out of a job for a while? Well, if it comes up, talk about your skills and why you want the job. And remember, your computer skills are going to be really important, so make sure he knows you've been keeping up on your technology. You could also talk about how your volunteer work has given you skills that will help you do the job better. Oh, and be prepared for him to ask you about specific situations, too. They always ask something like, tell me about a time that you faced a difficult situation. Hmm, I've had plenty of those. <laughs> I'll talk about how I handle those situations and the good result. That's good. And I know you got through them with flying colors. And remember, even if you have a valid grudge against your former employer, don't bring that into the interview. He'll jump right on that. No, not to worry. I won't air dirty laundry. But what about money? Think I should ask about that? Mm, I wouldn't. Not at your first interview. If he brings it up, just say salary is negotiable. And if he really pushes you, ask him what range he's thinking about. You don't want to come across as too uncertain. Before your interview, look online for similar salary levels to give you an idea of what range would be acceptable. That's the stuff that throws me. How can I get through those tough questions without appearing anxious? Well, just be you. More than anything else, he just wants to see that you're confident in yourself, but not arrogant about it. You want him to know that you know what you know, and you're willing to learn the rest. Maybe I should get there really early. I bet they'd appreciate my enthusiasm. Be careful on that one, David. Give yourself plenty of time to get there, but then hold back and only check in five minutes before. Too early, and they'll think you're too anxious or desperate. Hey, I am pretty desperate. No, you're not. Even if you don't get this one, I know it'll go well, and you'll know that you did everything you could. Think I should call back right away after the interview? Well, you definitely want to send a thank you note or email the moment you get back home. So at the interview, ask them when you can expect to hear from them. And don't call back until then. Thanks, Linda. I'm feeling a lot better about this. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I think I'm going to lay out my new interview suit tonight and do a little more homework. I feel bad for all those other folks who won't be getting this job. <laughs> now that's the David I know. Show them your positive attitude and energy. And good luck. <laughs>